Hey, how y'all doing, folks? It's Pawpaw again. And man, if I got something to show you today. The uh, you you saw me do a review on the hand blender by Redmond, and then their waffle maker, three-in-one waffle maker that make waffles and sandwiches, and, a, and it was a grill. And uh, you saw me do that real pretty red rotisserie oven. Ah, that air frying oven. I thought that was cool. Anyway, the people at Redmond, you know, they thanked me for doing the videos and said, if we ever have anything else I'd like, you know, let them know. And I told them, I said, I sure would like that set of copper colored cookware y'all got. See, uh, I cook on cast iron personally. I like cast iron. However, my wife can't handle the weight of the cast iron skillets anymore. She's got a, I don't want to, I don't want to say my wife's got arthritis. That'd make her sound old, but we've been married 40 something years. <laughs> anyway, uh, it just got to where the cast iron is too heavy for her. So this is a ceramic coated nonstick cookware set. There's 10 pieces. That's four pots, two skillets, and four lids. And the lids also fit, I said, where'd it go? There it is. The lid also fits the little skillet. And this one will actually sit down inside, but it don't really fit on top. But uh, if you want to cook something covered, you've got that little skillet right there. Anyhow, that's why I need to tell them to get a lid that fit this, that bigger skillet. Anyway, when I was first going to, going to college, I had a job at a little hamburger joint. It was a 24-hour breakfast to hamburger joint. You know, something like Crystal. You get them little bitty burgers. Well, this was more of a Oh, a miniature Denny's maybe. It, it was shaped like a little, like a little Scotty's hamburger chain. Uh, oh, I forget the name of a bunch of them, but anyway, it was popular back years ago. Fifty years ago, it was real popular. And these, uh, uh, you go in there. It just be about the size of a of a uh, trailer or a. A railroad box car, you know, it's just long and skinny, a little like a what they call it, a box car diner. And uh, I'll never forget when I was a little kid, my dad took me and my little brother in there, and I was I don't know 10, 11 year old. He sat down and said, "Fill them up." <laughs> Hamburgers were a dime a piece. Fill them up. <laughs> Boy, you'd be hard pressed to eat a dollar's worth. Let me tell you. But anyway, I got a job at one of them places in Cookville, Tennessee, and I learned to flip eggs. And I was sure looking forward to getting a pan that was smooth shaped on the inside, a non-stick, to where I could flip eggs. And uh, I'm going to try it. Hopefully you'll be seeing me do it. <laughs> but the idea is you get that egg, you know, cooking and and it's nice and smooth in there and then you toss it up and when it flips in the air you don't just catch it hard you bring that skillet down with it and slow it down real fast and if you're good I ain't saying I'm good but if you're good you'll be able to do it without breaking the yellow so we'll see how that comes about uh, they basically say make, you know whenever you first get it make sure you wash it real good and, and uh, avoid any type of metal coming in contact with it. They say it is ceramic coated, but the ceramic can be scratched. At least it's ceramic, not Teflon, right? Uh, it's all aluminum. It's got a pretty thick aluminum base on it. Not super thick, but you know, there's a extra layer of aluminum down there. And I did find out that aluminum cookware actually heats more even than cast iron. I wouldn't have thought that. I wouldn't have thought that. I thought my cast iron's best. But of course you bring it up to temperature for a while then it'll even out. But The uh, aluminum is supposed to be more even heating. If it is great, if it's not great. 
all I know is a nice looking set and uh, it retails for $119 but with uh, your 30% uh, I like doing a cheap discount from uh, Redmond you get 30% off of that and that's what is that uh, $36 off so talking $84 so this would make a nice wedding gift for somebody, for some young couple starting out. You do need to use uh, uh, wooden spatulas, plastic spatulas, no metal. Okay? i got to get used to that. I'm so used to my cast iron. So uh, give me a minute. We'll go get set up in the kitchen. We'll see what we can come up with.